The hockey community here is very tight knit. Boston University runs the length of Com Ave from Fenway all the way down. It's a hockey school in a hockey city. I don't know much else you uh, you would want out of your experience, right? When hockey is your passion, and the women having their own rink was a testament to that from day one. The only reason I knew about Boston University as a small town Canadian kid growing up north of the border was watching the movie Miracle. And you start to hear about all the rich hockey history that existed on the men's side. And so when my time came around to start to decide and look into what school I wanted to go to, um, when BU called, that was my only reference point. I played here, you know, graduated in 2012. When I came back as the head coach uh, two years ago, it was definitely, you always knew that taking over a program, even if you are familiar with it, you knew it was going to be a transition. I wanted to be able to be more intentional about the culture we create amongst our staff because that is going to then ripple where into the locker room. Looking under the hood, we have every tool or resource that this program could ever need to have success and to create a professional environment for our players to where they're coming through here in four years and going on to achieve their dreams, whatever that looks like. And some of that is definitely the, the technology that we get to work with every day. We started to change some of the things that we do, whether it's um, using Helios or whether it's uh, different video software that we're working with. Having an actual metric that we can see, okay, are we practicing as hard as we're playing? Yes. And it's like that's where it made us, our run in the playoffs really easy for us because games were light. <laughs> you know, we were practicing so hard. The cool part about Helios is it's user friendly. You don't need a PhD to decipher the data. <laughs> the players wore it every practice, every game. They had access on their apps. They used it. They looked at it. It gave us an actual metric versus our eye test and seeing what we feel. It allowed us to really break down their skating dynamics. Um, and as well as the power and max speeds that are coming out of it. The readily accessible time on ice in-game is huge. That's a metric we, we use first and foremost. It gives us so much information in terms of the stride, being able to have a stride count. Heart rate was the most important um, in terms of, again, how quickly are they recovering? And then I would say the G-force into the ice, like being able to measure how explosive we are on our first three steps. In the grand view of it, the coolest part is when we apply the game tape and they can see their metrics tied into their shifts. Like that's probably the biggest thing. And I used it a little bit more reflectively week to week. What were our practice loads looking like? Were there any players that were outside the norm? Just gathering information. Hockey, there's a lot of hip soreness and knees. Now we can say, okay, is the Helios data putting out the same as what our ATs and strength and conditioning are seeing? And it's fostered a lot more communication. I'm just excited to see what we can continue to do with it. You know, we're not far removed. You know, this is the school that I love and went to and all the experiences that I earned as a player in my career and now coach, I bring them to this program every day. And I think the more you can give them the tools to learn about themselves, you're setting them up for a sustainable future with or without you there.